Japan is one of the world's wealthiest countries, where the culture is fracturing in surprising ways. Today in Japan, the gap between haves and have-nots is more pronounced than ever, and the marriage rate is at an all-time low. Less money, less chance of the big day in the big white kimono. So our analyst began searching through Japanese forums where young men and women open up about sex and dating. We hit upon a new phenomenon, women paying men extraordinary sums for companionship. There was one name in particular that stood out. My name is Hikaru Aizawa. I am king of Hosto. I used to be a salesman at bridal and funeral events. They don't buy it because the products are good, they buy it because they can trust you. I learned how to sell myself. When I became a host, basically I just did the same thing to women. It's the Japanese equivalent of a psychiatrist with benefits. Talking, flirting, and maybe, just maybe, sex. As a number one host, I've made as much as 200,000 US a night. When we order sushi at Dolce One, we always order omakase. We had to know more, so we asked one of his regular customers. She declined to give personal details, saying only that she worked a, quote, day job. I'd never been to a host club before. I honestly didn't want to because they have a bad reputation. Women being taken advantage of, spending all their money. Some spend a couple hundred thousand US per night. When he is working as a host, he is the perfect man. Women are looking for non-realistic love, virtual love. They want to have butterflies in their stomach. They want to get excited. They are looking for stimulation. The host clubs originally were the places where women who were working in the hostess clubs went after work to be pampered and spoiled by men who pretended to like them and want to be with them, just like they've been doing for all evening. You kind of wonder, like, what is the psychology of someone who is basically faking affection for someone all night and then goes and blows their money on someone who's doing the same thing to them? I started to come here because I trust him. I believe every girl who comes here to meet him wants to become his real girlfriend. Everything I have in my house is gifts from my customers. Everything. Everything. This is the only one in Japan, serial number two. The first one is Brad Pitt. Beckham was wearing this and I thought it was cool. I think it was for my birthday. It's about 50,000 US. Limited edition. You see this logo? I tell my customer, make sure to ask me first if they want to give me a gift. No surprises. I don't need what I don't like, you know? His last birthday, I bought him a $7,000 bottle of Japanese shochu. He said he liked the look of it. I have no idea what it tastes like. The dark side of the host clubs is sometimes they are run by organized crime. They lure young women into the clubs who are not very bright, and they rack up a huge debt. Then they take the woman to a loan shark, who then takes them to a sex shop that is usually controlled by the same organization that controls the host club, and there she works off her debt to the loan shark. By doing that, you basically have this pantomime of human trafficking, but you can't prove it because it's a triangle. 